The pressure is on. Behind this door here is a young family who's been dealing with rodent companies for the last five, five years. years. And four different rodent companies who haven't been able to solve their issue. So they called us out to hopefully finalize this entire rodent infestation and they can move on with their lives. We're gonna do that right, right now. now. Before we get started, let's go meet Sean and he'll walk us through all the areas where we're about to hunt these rodents down today. Hey, it's the twins! Hey, it's Sean. Sean. Thank you so much for coming. My oh. pleasure, my pleasure. Well, this is Dave, I'm Jim. We've got our team ready to tackle this for you today, Sean. Do you mind walking us in and see if we can no, take no, a look please, at where the in. effects are? So this is the master. Uh, bedroom? Yes, or, okay. and, and there's an ensuite that connects to another bathroom right there. And when and was the last time you heard uh, the, the activity, activity, Sean? Oh, last night. Last night. <laughs> so every <laughs> night? And constant. pretty much every night in the last week or two. Okay. Any uh, any odors or urine smells? or? Uh, not not no? currently, not for a while. Um, okay. A few years back, there was a, a dead smell, a corpse smell for a while, and okay. then that went away. And then the noises stopped for, you know, a year or two. Okay. And then uh, they started up again last year. Gosh. And it's always been in this area of the home? Yeah, it's always been in this wall that separates the two bathrooms. It's right inside here. Okay. And when the other rodent companies came out, I'm just curious, obviously you're explaining, did you explain to them that you're hearing activity in the wall? And how did, what was their approach? Well, they said uh, what we want to do is try to bring them out and trap them. Okay. So they laid traps under the house. And the first company that did that, they caught some mice. Okay. Um, but uh, they didn't catch the uh, the rat, so I called another company and I explained to them it's in the wall. I need you guys to like open up the wall. They're like, oh, we don't do that. I spent four thousand dollars with that company alone mm. to reseal the house and to replace the insulation. Wow, four thousand they, dollars. They've been out seven or eight times in the last year, just laying traps. Their their whole method is the same thing, just trying to get them out and trap them. Uh, but they refuse to go into the wall, and that's when I found your guys' video and called you guys. Oh, that's awesome. awesome. So this is the area right here, this this entire wall? Mm-hmm. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and start protecting your floors. Um, we'll have our carpets to get ready to make our incision. Uh, one of us will get underneath the crawl space, we'll inspect there, and then, um, so in the next 20 to 30 minutes, we're going to have a really good game plan of what, how we're going to approach yeah. this. We're also going to do a smoke test as well, so we can rule out any sewer entry points, especially if you have a clean out on this side. A lot of times what happens is those clean outs will dive underneath the crawl space and those rats are becoming very aggressive with getting into the sewer pipes and then entering in from this point as well. Yeah. So we're not going to miss a beat here. We're going to, we're going to explore all of our options. Excellent. Thank you guys so much. My pleasure. Uh, this is a really uh, great product to protect floors, especially with floors that uh, can easily scratch. You want something thick here, so if you drop a tool, uh, it just offers a lot of protection here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to build a 6 mil polyplastic with a zipper. And uh, when we make the incision, you never know because there could be a live rat in there and that'll bolt off into somebody's house, and that's a whole secondary problem. So we want to keep everything contained as we're cutting. Quick tip when you're doing any sort of uh, monitoring or investigative work for rodents in an attic, I like shutting the light off to the attic. Gets it dark, and then you're able to see if there's any daylight coming in. That helps you give you a visual perspective on possibly where these rodents are getting in. Just wanted to offer that tip to you. All right, so this is the crawl space. The great thing for me is it's plenty of room and it looks super clean. So I have no problems going under here. Dryer vents are a huge, huge entry point for rodents. So we always want to check that. You can see here there's a flapper. So this one actually is pretty good. Um, not smelling any urine or any indication, so dryer's good. We use uh, shaving cream prior to cutting to the areas that's going to, uh, to be disturbed. And what happens is as you're cutting, all the particulates, uh, this acts like a, an encapsulation, so all the particulates stay within the foam 
as opposed to coming into a bathroom or the indoor air uh, environment. So just wanted to show you a little hack here. Just take a quick smell of the sewer line here. Just smells like sewer. It's always a great, great tip to smell the sewer lines and vent system. See if you're getting any rodent urine. It's a really, really good sign if they are coming in through the sewer system. Yeah, so this right here, this is the lavatory here. Uh, this is the toilet and that's the shower there. And what I'm looking for right now, all the entry points, you could see the rodent companies uh, applied the metal screen and then sealed with foam. I'm not a big fan of this foam, guys, and the reason why is because the rats just chew right through it. So try to stay away from this. I mean, you do have metal here. If you really want to get in, they'll chew through this and then get their bodies right into here if they really wanted to. Everything here is completely sealed. Don't see anything. So the crawl space overall looks amazing. It's clean. There's no uh, smell here. There's no odor. And to be honest with you, it's sealed off pretty good. Well, the crawl space overall looks completely sealed. It's clean. I'm not getting any odor. So uh, attic looks good. It's going to be a tough one to figure out why they're getting in that wall when there's no breaches in the attic or here for them getting in. So we're going to have to really do a thorough inspection on the plumbing stack. It's in this wall here. So that's going to be our next step. Here we go. We're about to reveal the uh, wall cavity. Yep. See, there's a couple chew marks right here. So we're going to have to go lower and we're going to have to go a little further this way. All right, guys, I need to get over there. So I'm going to hold on to the ridge here. Yeah, this is so much better. So I've uh, did a thorough inspection of the crawl space, the attic area, got up on the roof. Everything is completely sealed. There's not one area or suspect area and there's no signs of chew marks. I mean, it's something's going on obviously in this wall. So I think a smoke test is going to be the next, uh, next big step, the here. next big step. And then opening up, I think we had to open up behind that shower. Yeah. And a little further uh, beyond that toilet. So underneath the crawl space in this bathroom is completely, oh, it's completely sealed. sealed off. Yeah. Okay. Sealed. Yeah. Something's going on. So we yeah. got to get to the bottom of it. If you're in the rodent industry, highly recommend the rigid micro camera. This really, does a great job with maneuvering through tight areas. Uh, comes in about a 150 foot roll here, so plenty of length. And also just a great overall camera to do this type of work here. There's rat poop right there. Really? Oh yeah, right, right there. Oh yeah, yeah, right there. Found a nest. There's a nest right there. Oh, look at that. Yep, look at that guys, look at this. Look at how large this rat poop is. So, guys, this uh, Dave, this vanity's got to go. We got to open up this. We got to okay. disconnect okay. this vanity. Okay. Hey, Sean, oh, okay. really good find here. We obviously opened up this here. There's some chewing marks here in the drywall. Mm -hmm. Didn't find anything there. The guys did a really good job with uh, sealing everything see off. See that net right there? It looks like they shoved some net inside this wall cavity. Uh -huh. So before removing this vanity, we went ahead and inserted our uh, in-wall micro camera. And I don't, see you can see the nest with the rat. See how much? Yeah, that's, a, that's, that's gross. That's a lot. Yeah. So um, with your permission, if we can remove this vanity. Absolutely. So we can get behind it. We're yeah. going to continue on. Get in there. Get him. Yeah. <laughs> we got to decontaminate all that anyways and remove it. Of so. course. I appreciate it. So uh, hearing my brother saying we got smoke coming out of the wall, which is a great sign. So guys, come a little closer here. You can see how uh, the smoke machine just kicked off, but we're getting smoke coming right here. And again, right below us is where we found all of that uh, rat defecation here. This, this bad baby's yeah, gotta go. It's gotta go, it's gotta go. So Dave found an open pipe in the wall cavity. As you can see, we're going inside the line right now have no idea where it's connected because you can see we're still running smoke but we're not getting any smoke out of That's here. That's got to be the entry point though. Yep. Okay, so um, let's... I'm getting sewer gases right here too. 
See it? Smell the sewer? Come on, man. Look at that, guys. So the camera, here's the toilet, guys. Here's where uh, the open pipe is. So look at the rodent company did a great job, but three inches over was the entry point right there. So now we're going to run the main line camera and figure out where this is going and locate it to the outside. Okay, Sean, good news here. Amazing news. First process, we opened up next to the toilet. Yeah. Then it directed us to move towards the vanity. Yep. Um, so, Dave, I was poking around behind the shower because the rodents were eating away at the wood. It's a little tunnel that, that they, they were going through behind the shower. Okay. So, so, remember you were telling me you were, you were hearing them every once in a while behind the shower? Yeah. But so more, more so on towards the toilet? Yeah. Here's why. So, there's a, a pipe that's cut right off at the floor inside the, the wall. wall cavity. <laughs> and I'll show you on the camera right now. Okay. But it, no one would have ever found this uh -huh. if this wall never got opened up. Oh so this goodness. was a really, really big, big find. So they put some wire mesh. Remember I showed you in the, uh -huh. when you came to the bathroom for, yeah. us, for the initial update? So two inches over is that open pipe. <laughs> so, so they sealed around it, but the rodents are coming in from the sewer pipe, coming yes. in and out, in and out, and then nesting inside, inside your the wall there. Oh my goodness. So yeah. all we got to do is cap that pipe and we're good? And then we're going to monitor the next couple of nights here. Okay. Is it going to be a major inconvenience to you if this zipper door stays for a couple of nights? No, no, that would be great. Okay. Yeah, we, yeah that's unprepared. I moved completely out of there. Okay. Jim, yeah. yeah. I know why we weren't getting smoke. Why? That's a separate sewer pipe. All for the Airbnb. ADU. ADU. Oh. So it looks like Sean did an yeah. ADU. Yeah. This is the toilet. I can hear it. So there's okay. two separate yeah. sewer systems. Yeah. So it's the toilet. We got to. He's got to run a vent. That's the vent for the toilet that was never oh. installed. That's a toilet yeah, that's vent a toilet for Sean's, vent and the they wall. just capped it off. He has no vent and right he now. Never ran. A so vent. we're solving two problems. That's a that pipe that vent that that vent is the vent for your toilet. Your toilet. Does your toilet gurgle when you flush sometimes? I didn't notice, no. But really? That vent should be going through the roof and yeah. they, they forgot to add a vent for oh, that. <laughs> so uh, we've got to take it all the way up through the roof? Yeah, or we just do a, a vent cap. Um, you know, there's a vent cap that, that's specifically designed for situations like this. But uh, we're solving two problems. The rodent and your venting issue. You never had a vent for your toilet. Oh, and my and what's what's amazing is that you're not getting any sewer, sewer gases gas. coming in. Well, I mean, maybe they're in the walls, right? Yeah, but well, a lot of times it'll go yeah, leak we, right through because uh, it, we go on a lot healthy. of sewer odor detections, and I'm surprised that you didn't get anything coming out of the wall. No, I mean, I'm surprised too. Interesting. <laughs> All right, well, thank you guys okay. for solving two problems for yeah. me. That's incredible. You got it. All right, so while the team is vacuuming up and getting the bathroom clean, I'm going to prepare our enzyme. Really important to, after you remove all the feces, is uh, do a really aggressive enzyme treatment. And uh, this would really do the final touch inside that wall cavity. Uh, there's a link down below on our enzyme. Um, phenomenal product. So we're going to go ahead and make sure that Sean's bathroom is... Uh, in really good shape and it's sanitized. So we're about to do that right now. Sean, we have better news. Okay. So the, the pipe in the wall, you have a pipe in the wall right now. They capped off a T. Well, that T we just figured out was good. specifically for the roof, for the toilet vent. So now all we have to do is come up out of the floor and straight into that pipe. And it already exits out. And already. it exits out. So we're oh, that's good. awesome. Yep. All right, guys, so we've got the parts. All we're simply going to do is utilize the existing stub out through the floor, come up this way, and then connect right back to this uh, vent right here, and then um, tighten this up. This vent will go all the way out. So, you know, typically for toilets, you want two inch, but in this case, this is an existing vent system. For whatever reason, they capped everything off, didn't think they needed it, but uh, this is the end all solution to Sean's rodent problem. All right, so here we are four days later. We're gonna come check in with Sean. Let's go in and we're gonna remove the plastic, show you what we did, and then we're gonna do a little bit sort of a last minute step to the main sewer line because we know that they're sewer rats. So let's go check in with Sean. 
Hey, Jim, Jim. Jim. Hey, Sean. Oh, good to see you guys. Thanks for coming good back. To see you. It's hey. been quiet. There's been nothing the That's entire time. That's amazing. Sean and I have been obviously texting back and forth. I've been checking with him each yeah, yeah. morning, and he's been like, no noise, Jim, no noise, Jim. And I've been keeping my fingers crossed. So, Sean, let's go in, take a look at everything. Yeah, please, Make come sure. on in. So you can see our containment is still up. Plastic is still up there. Yeah, let's take a look. And uh, if if Sean would have hurt anything, especially with the with the plastic, he would have hurt it a lot more. What I'm going to do as sort of a final step, Sean, mm -hmm. is um, we have our own drain cleaner, and there's a mixture in there. There's a content in there that the rodents completely hate. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and utilize your uh, clean out, and I'm going to go ahead and dump that in. Don't use the water for a good hour or so. Okay. Let that really drain down your main, and I think we've got it. Okay, perfect. Sounds good. All right, guys. So we're going to go ahead as a final step. Uh, we're going to go ahead and apply our double impact drain cleaner. This has a sodium hydroxide and rodents cannot stand sodium hydroxide. So we're going to go ahead and do this just in case because these sewer rats are getting really, really aggressive. And so uh, just as an extra precaution, we're going to go ahead and apply this. Um, as you heard, I'm gonna, I told Sean not to use the water for a good hour to really let this uh, go down the entire main sewer. The other thing is rodents are attracted to their scents. So by doing this, this literally eradicates any of their odor down that sewer line, especially when Sean and Molly starts using the water, it's really gonna flush out that drain. So that's another great reason, just like our enzyme inside the wall, we wanna get rid of all of the odor that they're attracted to. So this is gonna be a great final step. I wanna thank you guys so much. Uh, this has been a five year journey and it's finally over and all it took was you know, one afternoon from you guys. So I'm relieved that I found your YouTube video and it's done. It's, it's totally done. And, and wow. I know that Molly is going to be very, very pleased that uh, we only hear scratching when we're going to the bathroom in the middle of the night. Anymore. <laughs> All right, guys, another great find. You know, this is what makes our job so gratifying is to be able to not only find the issue, but also provide a permanent solution. And did you see Sean, how happy he is? Amazing. That right there is what touches our heart. That's what keeps us going here. Absolutely. Hey guys, leave the comments down below. Give us some of your feedback as to uh, what your thoughts, maybe some different approaches. Yeah, and exterminators, for those of you who always comment saying that why are you opening up walls, love to get your feedback on how you would have solved this issue without opening up the walls. Also, hit that subscribe, hit that subscribe button. button. And guys, we'll, we'll see, see you on the next one. one.